Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're going to go through my top 10 best SummerSlam matches of all time. Now guys, these are my top 10. I want to know what you are in the comments below. What would you say your top 10 matches are from SummerSlam or your favourite SummerSlam match of all time is? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And I'll be back with you after the intro and we'll get into it. Um, there's some awesome matches in this, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Okay guys, so SummerSlam is this weekend. Triple H has been made head of creative. Are we going to see a lot of different changes? Are we going to see a lot of people jumping back from AEW? All this kind of stuff is got the wrestling world on fire at the moment and it is very exciting, especially in the WWE space. Now I will cover that in This Week in Wrestling this weekend and we will go through that and we'll chat a little bit about it and stuff like that as well. But what I do want to do is I want to go over today, obviously, my top 10 SummerSlam matches of all time. So, let's kick off with 10, heading down to 1. I think you all know what 1 is. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't hide that one from you, so I'm sure you already already know that, especially if you watch this channel for a long time. But, let's get into it. So, number 10, SummerSlam 2016, Cena vs AJ Styles. Beautiful match. Something that I think a lot of us... In that wrestling space, never thought we would ever see AJ being the TNA kind of guy, New Japan, all that kind of stuff, and Cena being that WWE guy. I don't think we ever thought we would ever see these two guys step in the ring. And seeing them do it, is it was always something that I thought was mega fun to watch. And that's why it's on my list. So, number nine. SummerSlam 1992, SummerSlam 1992, number nine is Bret Hart versus British Bill Dog. That UK pay per view, um, for me it was an okay pay per view, but this match stole the show. It was fantastic. I love Bret Hart, so it, it, it's great. British Bill Dog, not so much. I do like his in ring work, but not so much because of the flag and stuff. But Bret Hart, definitely fantastic match. Number eight, SummerSlam 05. Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio. That ladder match, I hope they bring that back. With Triple H being head of creative, we could see Dominic saying, but Eddie was actually my dad. I would have, I would love to see that. I think it would be fantastic. And just like a good homage to the Eddie Guerrero legacy that we all love. Number seven, I've got SummerSlam 09. CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy. I always loved this one. Now, I'm not saying it's the best match that they had together, um, but this one I always thought was good. I always thought CM Punk and Jeff Hardy work well together. Like, they just they just go well, but they, we never really get to see them a lot together. But we did see them a lot, but like we didn't at the same time. It's a weird thing. For me, I just don't feel that I've seen them a lot, but I think we did as well. But anyway, number six, SummerSlam 97, Taker versus Brett. Just the the Shawn Michaels, the chair shot thing, the cut, a fantastic match, honestly. I love this one. I think this match could be, should probably should have been a little bit higher up in this list, but the other ones that I've got up there are just fan, like my favourites from my memories. So we'll head to number five, SummerSlam 98, Taker vs. Austin. I love this one. I watch this at least once a year. This SummerSlam 98 also has another match that just missed my list. It's normally on here, but it just missed it, and it's uh, the ladder match, Rock vs Triple H. I love that one. It's one that not a lot of people talk about, but I really like that. This one here, Taker vs Austin, was awesome as well. Number four, SummerSlam 2000, Hardys vs Douglas vs Edge and Christian, TLC. We all know that had to be there. A fantastic match, fantastic tag teams, and just... At that point when it was just a, I don't know, it was just, it was just so different to see, especially in a mainstream wrestling promotion like WWF, WWE at the time, WWE, WWF at the time, uh, but yeah, number three, SummerSlam 02, Rock versus Lesnar, Lesnar gets a win here and this sets up for that what Lesnar's still off of the now, this guy was obviously going to be a huge star back then, 
I remember this, and I just remember loving Lesnar from day one. And it goes into obviously his Hell in a Cell with Taker back in 02. Goes into the biker chain match as well. His food with Taker, I always loved the early one, not the later one. Um, but yeah, this this is a uh, it's definitely up there. Plus, I always thought it was really cool that Lesnar got the win and he was so young. Everybody got behind him, but then when Cena gets the win, we were all behind him as well and then turned on him. But nobody really like we all kind of still liked Lesnar apart from when he was leaving. But I. <laughs> Then SummerSlam, O2 again, uh, Michaels versus Triple H, the street fight. I mean, how could this not be up here? This one is just a beautiful street fight. Anytime Shawn Michaels and Triple H step in the ring when they have their feuds, it's always fantastic. But this one is just really cool, and it's one that always kind of stands out for both these guys' career. New number one, guys. The one that you all knew was coming. SummerSlam 94. The greatest steel cage match of all time. And I'm on record saying this. It's Bret Hart versus Owen Hart in a cage match. I hadn't seen this for a good 6-7 months. So I was thinking, maybe I'm just bigging it up a little bit too much. So I put it on. My partner and my kids were there as well. So I was like, you need to see this and tell me what you really think about it. My kids sat with their mouth opened watching this Um this match, my partner saw this a couple of times obviously when I've been watching it, she sat and watched it I sat and watched it obviously and it just shows how good these two guys were even at today's standards, these guys were fantastic and SummerSlam 94, Bret Hart, Owen Hart Steel Cage match if you haven't seen it, go see it, it is the greatest stage Steel Cage match of all time and that's my top 10 list guys let me know what yours are in the comments below while you're there please hit that subscribe button. Uh, <laughs> I really need to grow the channel. And uh, yeah, later on this week, I'm just looking at my schedule here, I've got some my top 10 SummerSlam pay-per-views. We're going to go into a little bit more detail in the card. We'll go through the ones I like from my SummerSlam pay-per-views. I don't think it's a surprise. O2 is probably going to be up there pretty high. Uh, but yeah, we'll go into detail in the card. And then what we'll also do is we'll go, we'll do this week in wrestling, maybe Friday. I'm hoping that Depending on the time that SummerSlam is going to be running, I might be able to do a live stream for it. If that's something you want to see, let me know. Um, if not, I'll just do a review. But I'm hoping to get a little bit more videos out this week. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for the support on the channel. Honestly, it means a bunch to me. I love you weird guys out there that comment, message me and just fucking chat shit while we moan about wrestling. Guys, Triple H is the head of creative in WWE. We're in for a hell of a ride. I'll see you back here. What day is it? Today, Monday. I'll see you back here Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday. I'll see you then. <laughs>